Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the color grading process in Photoshop. So I'm using Photoshop 2019 and 2020 so whatever you can use the version it doesn't matter but you have to ensure that you have a camera filter 12.3 and if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So in this photo the before one was like that normal photo but amazing but if you want to get the color tone like that so you have to apply these type of colors that means uh, uh, in face color these type of tones in a, a mid-tone shadow and uh, the darkness uh, so these type of things I made the preset for you guys so let's check it out so I'm going to the home and uh, the image was I downloaded from the devianna.com and I'll provide you that download link in my video description so press ctrl or command J it will help you out to make a copy of this layer and then go to the filter and camera raw filter so I just updated my camera filter 12.3 so in 12.3 you are getting the lots of uh, features which is smarter than the previous version so you can use it out and here are some dedicated options or dedicated settings which is very helpful if you want to remove the spot it will help you out so if and here small menu go to the load settings options i made the preset for you guys and that preset indoor light orange and load it up so it will help you out to make the photographs more amazing or this light is not similar to your photographs please adjust that light so i'm going to the basic options and here the highlight i'll make it down and the blacks i'll increase and then the vibrance i'll make it down like that so that's good for me and the like curve if you want you can uh, add the curve like your one and color mixture you can adjust the color mixture and the detailing options i'm just here getting here the noise reduction i'll make the noise reduction like this 36 so i'm getting the before and after so now let's see the settings is like that temperature 10 tint minus 6 and the contrast plus 50 and highlight minus 39 and shadow plus 10 and blacks that is 18 so collapsing the basic options and curves tone curves i made the tone curves like that so input value is 255 and output value 246 and the input value here 112 and output value 111 and the input value 23 output value 31 and it's a little bit upper side that is input value 3 and output value 21 and other of the color i didn't touch that and the detailing here the sharpening amount 71 if you need you can adjust your uh, sharpening according to your image and the noise reduction and the color noise reduction so these two things is uh, very much important for your photograph just because of if you uh, increase the iso level in your camera when you are taking the photographs it uh, may be grain or like a grammar like a noise over there so you can remove that using the uh, like a, a noise reduction and and another one is the color noise so first one is for the illuminating noise that means black and white noise that is for the noise reduction first one and if you have the color noise which is uh, like uh, the pixel light colors it the color noise help you out to remove that pixel or that noise so i will make another um, video about the noise reduction that next or um, the other video so i'll provide you that video uh, in my youtube channel please uh, do subscribe my channel and now going to the color mixture uh, here the portion hue saturation luminance you know hue is the color um, that means which color will be in your photographs and the saturation that is the percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color so hue uh, here the red hue i made it 60 that means that's why you are getting the orange type tone and orange plus 5 and the yellow 0 and the blue that is minus 50 and saturation percentage of the color i made the blue that is plus 5 and luminance that is the intensity of the color i made the blue color plus 48 which is uh, like upper than the normal 
the split toning most important thing the highlight color and shadow color so in the photo you are getting the highlight portion in the face area and the eyes and this portion and the shadow area over there and mid tone we just um, added the uh, like uh, balancing uh, in a mid tone which is the vibrance in upper portion that means here vibrance i made it minus 21 but in this portion we are getting the two things main thing the highlight portion and the shadow portion highlight color which color will be in a highlight portion the value is 60 from hue i pick the color and the saturation percentage of the color here i 20 8 I given over there and the shadow portion I given the color 2 to 1 that is the color code actually so when you picking up the color from here the different types of code it will generate so you can produce different types of color in shadow or highlight portion so in this case I just produced 2 to 1 for the color code and the saturation 7 that's good and now let's go to the optics no optics no geometry options in this portion no effects options and calibration i didn't touch the calibration portion so i just done three or four things which is the color mixture split toning and the curves and the detailing option and the basic option i just touch and worked with that and hit the ok button and after that we got this type of result and then i will have to add another preset or like um, another effects from the nick collection go to the filter so select this layer first filter nick collection color effects pro for so if you want to get the download link of the plugins like a uh, nick collection and other stuff please check out my video description so i'm using here cross processing and lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photography you have to choose from that i just used the uh, photographs uh l02 these effects and the strength 33 you can manage it out by using the value over there and hit the ok button it will take time to load and provide the final output like this so uh, i think that this one is gorgeous or creative than the previous one just because of previous previous one is a ordinary normal image but beautiful but in this portion you are getting extra uh, cinematic tone and color grading options in this portion in this options you are getting like that hope that you learn a lot from this video if you have any kind of question query request please do comment in my video comment section don't forget to thumbs up and share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications or new video when i publish in my youtube channel stay safe stay at home until the next video i am a7 signing out today bye bye